imagine they're all basically warnings, high wind warnings, uh, hurricane force wind warnings. The wind is going to be the number one problem in association, of course, uh, with coastal flooding, massive beach erosion. As we proceed into later tomorrow and then into Wednesday morning, the wind gusts drop off significantly, so hopefully those power crews can uh, really get out there and uh, restore power. All right, 22 feet on the buoy around Cape May, 20 feet now on the Long Island buoy. Oh, crap, 20 feet from the offshore as well. So uh, a good chunk of this swell now moving a little further out to sea. So the angle has changed a little bit. This buoy, uh, 44025, which is southeast of uh, Fire Island, was at 15 foot when I got on the air this morning. So that has jumped up pretty considerably here to about 20 feet. And again, the center of all this, uh, closer to 35 to 40 foot wave heights out in the middle of the Atlantic. All right, here we go. Sandy continues to wrap in the rain, the heaviest rain, as I mentioned, butting up against the frontal boundary here and really just forcing it forcing is tremendous and uh, therefore dropping all that rain and through portions of the Del Mar. We pull it on back, there's also snow with it, not for us, but there's snow with the system right around West Virginia and portions of uh, actually Tennessee as well. So we zoom it back in here. Eastern portions of the state closest to the storm actually has some lighter rain than what has migrated and pushed further inland.